Hi everyone, welcome to Club 4 episode 14 of Rolling in the Isles, an FM22 British Isles Journeyman series with me, the United City FM. Welcome along. So, form has been pretty perfect since you and I were together last. Few games played in the league and we've won them all. We've also gone through in the cup next round as well, which is fantastic. Today though, we start a run of five very tricky fixtures for one reason or another. And the first of those is Aberystwyth, who sit in third position, two places behind us at the top of the table. The New Saints are bearing down on us in the top of the table, having got games in hand. We need these three points. Can we get them? Let's find out. Welcome back to Connor's Key Nomads in the top flight of Welsh football. So yes, things have gone very well. Straight into the schedule page, you'll see that since you and I were together last for the 5-3 win against Haverford West, we've played four, uh, three games in the Premier Division and one in the Cup, won them all very comfortably, to be honest. It was a very good month for us so far, October. We're playing the last day in uh, game in October today. What I would say, and just to reiterate what I talked about in the intro... Five games coming up, which are pretty much as tough as they could get. Aberystwyth, Bangor City, uh, the New Saints, Cardiff Met Uni and Colwyn Bay. There is a third, uh, a third round cup tie in there as well that might change that. But the reason these are so uh, five so difficult teams to play is that these first four are the four teams sitting directly behind us in second through fifth in the division. So you can see it can't get much harder than that. And the fifth one, the game that we'll come back for next episode, is the Colwyn Bay match. And that is my previous managed team in this particular division. We bought them up from the, t uh, the division below and then moved on from them. And they never go down without a fight. So those are the five challenging fixtures we've got. We're playing the first of them today. We'll play the last of them in next episode just to catch you up on everything that happened in between. Remember, at the end of this set of fixtures, there is more to come. The league splits and the top six uh, continue to play each other for a further 10 matches. So this season is not done yet. In terms of where it leaves us currently, we are sitting top of the table. But you can see one point behind us and now one game in hand over us. They've had two games up until recently. The new Saints are absolutely bearing down on us and we have to continue to pick up points because there's no doubt that they're going to. So... Tricky run of fixtures, little bit of pressure from the new Saints. Aberyst with having a very good season in third. Can we dent that today? Let's find out. So in terms of personnel, we are absolutely at full fitness, which is great. Everybody's had a little bit of a rotation in and out of the team recently, including that cup match, which we went through on penalties on. It wasn't the best performance, but we did rotate the 11 a little bit and just uh, gamble slightly with the team selection and it just about paid off for us. So that's been fantastic. We've had a little bit of a, uh, a gap since that game as well. So everybody's picked up their fitness since that moment as well, which is good. What I would say is the only real decision I've had to make, you can see that basically my uh, starting 11 is here, is that the left fullback position, we are keeping Edwards in, who is actually my rotating option on the right hand side of fullback really but he can cover both and he's playing better than the other two that I have actually got as left fullbacks in the squad at the moment so he keeps his spot and the only other one was who to play up top alongside Johnson now the first thing to say is I have moved Johnson over to the right hand side playing in the slightly deeper role getting involved in the play a little bit more still getting the goals from there and it was about do I play Lloyd or Rees as his partner. And Lloyd has got um, about eight goals in 12 matches, something like that. And Rees has got about seven in eight. 
Johnson's got about 22 in 17. So you can see all three of them doing very well. But Rees has been on good form very recently. So he gets the nod today. Lloyd is back on the bench, though, having had a little bit of an injury over the last few weeks. So he's back in contention, which is good. And so we're back to full strength in our striking lineup. So for today's match against Aberystwyth in the Welsh top flight, we're going with parking goal, Barrett at right back, Edwards at left back, Beaumont and Boddenham in central defence, Berry and Pinchard in central midfield, Reese on the right, Motruck on the left, Johnson and Rees up top with a bench of Amos, Roberts, Cullimore, Evans, Mitchell, Bowris and Lloyd. So let's get into today's game and see what happens. So it's all about carrying on the good run of form that we've been on recently. So I've gone in with, we're doing well, we're on a good run. Let's keep that going, shall we? See if we can um, and see whether we can get a, a positive performance and a positive result at home against one of those teams that are just sniffing around us a little bit, just behind us in the league, sitting in third place a couple of points back. We need to continue to march forward, really, and leave some of these in our wake a little bit and make life a little bit easier for ourselves coming towards the end of the season that won't be too far away from us, really. Um, and it's that new Saints that are just causing us a little bit of a problem. They've got that game in hand. We play them soon, of course. If we can beat them there, that really helps us. But we've got to beat Aberystwyth first. And just two minutes in, we are a goal behind. They work it onto the left-hand side. Jones turns away from his marker, Barrett, in the right fullback position for us. Gets a, a chance to get the cross in. Whips it across the top of the six-yard box. And the defenders are pretty much outnumbered there. There was like three on four in their favour. And one of their guys managed to get there first and poke the ball in the back of the net. The goalkeeper really didn't stand a chance. We've now got it all to do. Barrett with the, th uh, the throw in. Uh, Pinchard takes over into the box and has a good uh, opportunity to put it at the goal. And it could have ricocheted in, uh, around all number of players there. And it didn't quite happen. <sighs> it goes from bad to worse. 14 minutes, the free kick comes in from um, from Aberystwyth and the penalty is given in their favour. Obviously, there was a push in the box or something and they get a chance from the penalty spot to go 2-0 up. This is not what I was expecting at all. And I'm actually going to tell them I'm, I'm really quite disappointed with how we've started. So we're going to berate them in the shouts quite early on and just demonstrate that it's not what we're expecting at all. This is a home match for us. We cannot afford to lose these, whoever we're playing uh, against. Bangor City were the ones that we were trying to get above this season, who finished in second last season, four points clear of us. And we're looking as though we're comfortable to do that. But even them, when they come to our place, we should be beating them. The only one that I'm not so con uh, convinced about is the New Saints who I think are just the best team in the league, if I'm honest. But other than that, if they come to our place, we should be winning these games. And today, we're not really doing it. Now, what I would say is that we're in the match in a number of areas. Same sort of amount of shots at goal, etc. We've got a little bit less on target than they have. But the XG rating, they've had a phenomenal start on their XG rating, boosted by the penalty, of course. But our XG rating has been woeful up until now. And we've been given a penalty. Long through ball, Rees through in goal, taken down. Johnson up for the spot kick. And he puts it away for us. 2-1 down, leading into the last five minutes of the first half. At least it gives us a little bit of hope that we can get ourselves back in the game towards the end of this first half. So good bit of play over the top for Reese to run on to. He did well to draw the foul in. And ultimately we go 2-1 down into half time. So the XG rating is better. All of the all of the stats pretty much are identical other than the XG rating, the expected goals. So they had a couple more uh, slightly better chances than we did in that first half. But other than that, actually, I think we were a little bit uh, disappointed to be 2-0 down. So we're going to have to read them the riot act a little bit here, though, because ultimately we are still losing to a direct opponent. So we're going to go with thrash the arms. We're going to go, what was that? Get your acts together, start playing. 
uh, start playing in the way that we know you can. We're going to uh, chuck them out for the second half, go into the shouts, fire them up for uh, this second half. We've got a little bit of an issue with Berry. If you can see at the bottom of the screen there, his conditioning is worsening compared to everybody else. So he's now picked up a bit of a knock and he's only just come back from injury. So I'm going to have to take him off, unfortunately. It's not something I want to do. But unfortunately, I don't have any choice, really. What's his injury? A thigh injury. We'll see how bad that one is as we progress through. Will Evans, though, perfectly good understudy for him. So we'll bring him. He can carry on for the rest of the game. And it might just give us a little bit of energy in that midfield as before the change even comes into effect, we go back out for the latter part of that highlight. And it provides a goal for us. And we go to 2-2. Two, two, and it's Berry involved. Drops the ball off to Pinchard on the right-hand side. Pinchard crosses the ball across the top of the six-yard box in the air. Motruck gets above all the defenders. Heads it back across goal and gets it into the back of the net. Do I still want to make my changes? I do because it's about an injury, nothing else. And so we are well and truly back in the game. Can we keep hold of the momentum? It's an aberyst with... Aberyst with it's not easy for me to say sometimes. Aberyst with um, opportunity. They've worked it back at us again and we've found a way to win the ball back. We've picked up another injury, unfortunately. I'm going to tempt fate. Let's pause another highlight. Go in and make another substitution because Reese on the right-hand side is now injured as well and he's got a thigh injury as well. This is they're dropping like flies today. So we're going to bring Mitchell in instead. He can finish off the game. These two substitutions are much earlier than I'd want to make them, but injuries uh, necessitate that. Let's go and reconvene the highlight. Do we get another goal from it? There is Reese, the injured player, getting involved in the play again, a bit like Berry did. Johnson threw a goal. Reese in the box, and we do. There you go. I found the way to break football manager. <laughs> if you pause the game and make a substitute during a highlight... <laughs> You get a goal, apparently. That's two in this particular match. That's interesting. We very rarely pause highlights because there's very rarely a need to. But on these occasions, with the injuries that, we, uh, that I spotted, it was very much worth it. Do I want to make my changes? Yes, I do. And on we go. Now, I don't want another injury just to test out the theory for the third time. I'd like us to get all of our players through to the end of the match, potentially. But I was also like to continue the momentum that we're currently on, having turned this game around 2-0 down to 3-2 up with about 25 minutes left to play. We've got another chance down the left-hand side. Motruck into Johnson. He puts the ball in the back of the net. 4-2 up. I feel like the comeback has completely uh, has been completed. I think we should be okay for the rest of this game now. The momentum has shifted. That has to boost the morale of the players as well. Having had a woeful start, it must be said. But here we are. Back end of the first half, we got our first goal. Second half, we've been incredibly dominant so far. 73 minutes on the clock. We're going to pause the game, make another substitution. <laughs> We paused on the start of another highlight, and that was completely accidental. But here's another chance. We pause the game. We go and make a substitute. We'll come back for the second bit of the highlight. Will that get us a goal? We've got a couple of very jaded players. Remember, we did go through uh, a quite a tricky cup game last out. Edwards is our left fullback option at the moment. He's got a yellow card, a slightly poor rating as well, and... He's got a low conditioning now, so we're going to take him out and protect him. Roberts comes back into that left uh, fullback spot. And that's the final of our substitutions. Pinchard is also low in conditioning. He's going to have to basically suck it up and, and get through the game. We've made all of our subs. Now, can we go back to a, an already started highlight and get a third goal from it? Here we go, folks. Let's press play. Corner kick on the far side. Corner comes into the near post. We don't on this occasion. Are they going to scupper it and get a counter-attack goal themselves? They've worked it down the pitch on the left-hand side. They're going to get a chance to cross the ball in. They don't take it, though. They work it across the top of the penalty box instead and then drop it back. Can we get a foot in and counter them? We can't. And the, the, <laughs> oh, the luck has run out. We, we paused. We changed. We had a highlight to come back to. And we didn't get a goal from it. Oh, well, there you go. 
two out of three ain't too bad, is it really? 4-2 up on the day. Again, they've won it in midfield. Again, they've managed to put the ball through. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. The keeper did it all for them and gave them a goal, really. If you watch him in this um, replay as he comes out, he comes out very, very straight on compared to... Uh, where the player was, it left a load of space down the right-hand side there. He just gets caught out completely, has to try and shuffle across to the right-hand side, and it doesn't work for him at all. The player gets past him easily and puts the ball in the back of the net for 4-3. Now I am slightly concerned about the way this is heading. We win it back again. Evans in midfield, though, does a good job for us. We try and work it down the right-hand side. Mitchell heads on, and for a second time, and it goes back to their goalkeeper to clear. We win the ball again. Barrett at the right fullback position. Mitchell takes over. Johnson in the box, and that is a phenomenal strike from Johnson. On the right-hand side of the box, just inside the corner, the top corner of the penalty box, so very, very uh, wide angle, but he gets on the ball and he absolutely thumps it home. Brilliant first touch out from his feet, lashes it with his right foot into the far corner from where he struck the ball, and we go 5-3, and it looks like we are finally going to come out on top in this absolute goal fest of a match. Eight goals and we did brilliantly well to come back into the game and we beat them 5-3 in the end. And that is pretty much as fun a game as you're ever likely to see. What a complete weird one that was. A 9.9 .9, uh, average rating for Johnson who did brilliantly well with a hat trick. Uh, ably supported by a number of other players. And that is fantastic. It keeps the pressure up on everybody else. Now let's go and check out what the new Saints have done. So the first thing I can tell you is that the new Saints haven't done anything. They haven't played a game this match day. So unfortunately, we're back to two games ahead of them and four points clear. So they've still got a chance to catch us up at this moment. But remember, in a couple of games from now, we play them and there is all to play for on that one. That's going to be an interesting one. Berry picked up an injury, you remember, in that match that we've just played. He's out for two to three days, not too bad. Unfortunately, Reese, our right winger, wasn't so lucky. He's got a similar uh, thigh strain, but he's out for five to seven weeks. And that's going to take up quite a chunk of what we've got left to play this season. And that's really disappointing. If we go and just very quickly have a look at him and what he's contributed so far this season, he's brilliant for us on that right-hand side. 18 matches played from the start, one sub-appearance. He's only got four goals, but in those 18 starts, he's got 16 assists. And we are going to really miss that very, very much. Mitchell's a good, able replacement, but he's, he's not quite Reese, And Reese has been fantastic this season. He's now out for five to seven weeks, just at the point where we are heading into some very tricky games. As we've already talked about in this episode, the next four matches are very hard in terms of league matches because of who we play. Banger City, the New Saints, Cardiff Met Uni, Colwyn Bay. We've got a cup game against an unknown opponent to be placed in there as well. And we're going to play through that section and I'm going to come back next episode to play Colwyn Bay, who are our former club, remember? So they never go down without a fight. And I will update you on all of the stuff that's happened specifically with that, the new, uh, new Saints game and see where we go for there. But for now, just for now, we're sitting four points clear of the New Saints at the top of the table, but they've still got those two games left in hand to play. So it could look very different by the time you come back next. We'll have to wait and see how that works out. But that's going to do it for today. Mad game, wasn't it? Brilliant result in a way. An amazing comeback. Should boost the confidence levels going into the next couple of games. Banger City up next. They're sitting down in fifth. But they're a little bit of a wounded animal possibly. So we'll have to be careful about that. Anyway. That's for another day for today. Thank you for joining me. Really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join my United City community. The more the merrier. Click that like button on this particular episode. That'll help me get seen by more people. Until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.